Orc Stalker, also from Reaper Miniatures. He's... Uh... Hi, Ball GM. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome, good evening. Got a little bit of uh, space here. Hi, Look God. Hi, Channel 67 Hi, Muse's Touch. Hi, Red Snail. Hello. Hello, hello. So, we're going to begin with, uh, on the Goblin Wolves, I'm going to begin with a base coat of Russet Brown on them both. Reaper Russet drink, Brown. Drink, uh, drink, drink. <laughs> another hydrate from Pete. Awesome. Ah, excellent. Thank you very much. So we're going to go for some Reaper Russet Brown. I'm going to put that on as a base coat, but then I'm going to dry brush highlight them um, with a couple of different colours. So they look different. One I'm going to use for the uh, RCL Monster category, and the other is going to be um, for... Where's my paintbrush? The other one is going to be for um, a duo. So... I want them to look different. So we're gonna go base coat with this, and then one I'm gonna make more gray, and the other one I'm gonna make more brown. But we're gonna start with this. So how is everybody? Hope you've all had a great day. It's uh, It's been a stock-taking day at Mighty Lancer Games today. Then. Uh, Busy, busy. Found uh, found a few things that we didn't think we had in stock that we actually did, which is good. Better to uh, find that we've got more stuff than we thought we had. Pretty cool. So uh, hopefully a few more items available as we uh, finished for the day than we had at the start of the day. The dog just made a funny noise. <laughs> made me, startled me. Sounded like he was uh, having a bit of a weird dream or something over there. Pete says, I'm prepping for my new water company. This is uh, this is part of a conversation from Goblin Squire's stream. All right. Where uh, Pete's going to make his own water company. It's going to be called uh, Council Pop. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> So that, that's what that's about. Uh, but Ball James says that is better than finding out you have less, I guess. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, there's uh, there was a couple of things that we were we were particularly on the Star Wars Legion front. There was a couple of things that we were showing uh, more than we had, which was a bit worrying until we got some of the other items where the codes were very similar and we've obviously added the inventory in the wrong places um, but uh, at some point there's been a little uh, little error but we've resolved that now and uh, everything is good part of the reason you do a stock take yep that's that's it that's it so goblin wolf number one base coated so we've done uh, all sorts of stuff today. Found uh, found all sorts of cool stuff. Found, um, or checked in all sorts of cool stuff. We've had some new deliveries. We've got some. Uh, Mrs. MLG's added some more geek gaming stuff, haven't you? Mm -hmm. We've got some uh, some more cool things to get added to the website tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you're going to add some uh, some Reaper, aren't you? These things that were on the desk. Oh, two things. Yeah, but then there, there is some more. There is some more. There's some more. We should be getting a delivery from Reaper tomorrow. So. I didn't know that. Uh, There's lots of hammers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hammer, hammer, like hammer, 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 hammer. Harley Quinn's mallet. It does look like Harley Quinn's mallet, but it's not called Harley Quinn's mallet. But maybe maybe they can't uh, maybe they can't call it that for for reasons. Yeah. I don't know. I know now. I think. I don't know where Pete finds that for these things. He's always he's always got a million a million things to be floating around, doesn't he? <laughs> 
Awesome. awesome. So, so uh, just, just back, back to, to Pete with, with his water, water company. company. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, just it, some, it did remind me of something that I once read in uh, in the newspaper about somebody who'd been prosecuted for uh, having a spring water company, but when they'd got inspected by the like health inspectors or whatever to check them out, they discovered that they were actually just filling it up out of the tap. In the, oh, in the they, there you go, Pete. You can't do that. Look, it's not allowed. You're not allowed yeah. to call it spring water. But then I don't think you were going to call yours spring water, were you? I think you were just going to call yours pop. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and also, obviously, we were just messing about. <laughs> yeah. They uh, yeah they discovered that they were just filling the filling the bottles up out of the normal t- <laughs> normal tap. Well, you've got to give them a for effort. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Sharon says, the last sub box seemed like a D&D starter set with kind of a full party and some classic monsters. Was that intentional? It was really nice. <laughs> it, was, uh, it wasn't It was actually intentional to be like that. No, I just picked some minis that I really liked and, and put those in. But yeah, I guess, I guess you got this guy, didn't you? And the uh, Orc Shaman. And then some piece. I never really, uh, never really thought about it like that. But yeah, I, yeah, it was completely intentional. Was completely <laughs> Sub- <yeah>. subconsciously, yeah. <laughs> subconsciously <laughs> made it into a party. Man, it's, yeah. it's it's sad. It is very sad that we've had to stop uh, doing it. Um, but obviously beyond our control. But yeah. it, we've been doing it for such a long time now. It was just part of uh, part of every month. Four we, years. Yeah, it was just. Don't know. I was going to get to the end of this month. We'd be like, "Oh, don't this," because uh, I was after nagging you. Know, Are you done the sub boxes? And you'd be like, "Don't have to." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right, Pete. Yeah, that's what council pop is. That close pipe water. Yep, yep. We knew that. Or just out of the tap. Maybe, maybe don't siphon it through a hose pipe. <laughs> get that nice rubbery taste. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, yeah. when I was a kid. Hose pipe water's got a taste all of its own. Well, yeah. Nice added bacteria. Yeah. Yeah, good. Eats his kids, you see. Made on the a, tough stuff. Yeah. On a on a summer's day, cooling down with the hose pipe. Good bit of Legionella going on after it's been baking there yeah, all day. <laughs> so, seeing as I've got so much russet brown on my palate, I'm just going to. Uh, I've got this fur bit around the base of the stalker here. So, we're going to go for. Russet brown on there. Russet brown is possibly my favourite brown. It's rubbish though, isn't it? Well, I really oh. like it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and and I, all browns are poop. I, I haven't used it for so long, long and I really like, like I, I should have been using it all along. Have you missed it? Have yeah, you missed, missed Russet yeah, brown? I've, oh, I've missed it because I've not really been painting like brown. these kind of figures. Been, been using leather. leather brown and flat earth and stuff like that. Missed it, missed it. It's uh, cool. I've uh, I've done a little bit of reorganising at the shop today as well. We've uh, made a couple of subtle changes in the shop. Now then, mm-hmm. that looks like so he's got this bit of chainmail hanging out the bottom of his breastplate. Yes. And he's got a little bit of chainmail there, but then this looks like fur that he's got up around the top. I think we do that bit of fur as well. Yeah. You have to flash your more crusher just to get Pete's pink needs met. Oh. All right. I hope you haven't made things hard to find, says Pete. No, of course not. Of course. What would be the point in that? No, we've just. I mean, some uh, things are hard to find just because we've got such a lot of stuff. Yeah. Just a bit of a rejig. Have you have you rejigged the uh, Scenics wall yet? No. no. I don't know. Don't know what you've rejigged then. But no, I'm sure a little yeah. bit of tidying up. That, that bit's supposed to be metal. I painted that bit brown, but that bit's supposed to be metal. It's uh, the counter, I told you, didn't I? That I've, I've rejigged, the, uh, rejigged the counter area to uh, just make it a little bit more tidy. And, uh, oh, and I screwed a, screwed a rack to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> DIYing as well, eh? 
Yeah, yeah. Where, where I'd where, where I'd move the, the uh, green, green stuff world paints from a little while ago, and it was kind of unused space. So I've put a rack on the fill wall there. Fill it up. Fill it up with stuff. I, I have done already. <laughs> Get some more stuff and fill it up. No, no. Well, I'd, I'd filled it up with the stuff that was previously on the counter, and then uh, and then David came over and asked me why I'd hung all that stuff there rather than the paint sets that we were going to hang up there because that's what because that was yeah you know, I had actually and I said oh the paint sets will just have to uh, we'll have to find somewhere else for them because this stuff needs to go here. <laughs> Honest, just hadn't forgotten my plan. Honest, go. Yeah. yeah, well, it, that was before we were planning on moving them things. So. It's yours, we'll, we'll let you off, it's fine. No, yeah. I, I think that you should, uh, as I have told you, my opinion is that we should move some of the things that are above the bolt action uh, to make the whole wall scenic, because currently it's got Bad Squidder and Northumberland Twin Soldier and then all the scenics and the, and the two miniature ranges are a little bit hard to see aren't they yeah especially, especially with us getting the gaming, gaming stuff now so even more scenics needs a whole wall of scenics and uh, and then move the other minis somewhere else but yes we're not getting another shop here <laughs> prices for everything are going up with cat yeah pink more crochet there you go pink Pink fix, it's, it's only had one coat so far, so it is going to get another coat. Is it lollipop magenta? Lollipop magenta. Yeah, it's going to get another all-over coat of lollipop magenta. So it looks a bit patchy at the moment, but it's uh, it's going to get another go over. Before Monday, I'm going to get that. Uh, I'm going to get that done before Monday. <laughs> it's cheered. Cheered some bits. Is that how excited you look, Pete, with the pink? Mm. It's even like a pinky purpley colour, that little whatever it is. Mm. <laughs> the tip jar isn't working. Yeah, what? yeah we don't know uh, why. It's, it's one of the things that Twitch is having problems with. So the chat bar is back, which wasn't working last time, but the, the tip jar has just decided that it doesn't want to show itself. And I don't know why. I don't, I don't know how to fix it. So, unfortunately. In that, that big, big black, black space, space near Salance, it's it's uh, it's missing. But thank, well, thank you. you. We, we appreciate appreciate your cheers. 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 Mm, camera's struggling with your uh, all black over there. Oh, sorry. Gotta love the magenta. Like it's even on your palette. We can even see lollipop magenta yep. on your on your palette. Ah. Uh, I'm trying to get my paint pot back in the rack and messing messing the everything up. Messing the everything up. Nearly knocked over Batman. Na, 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 na. Batman. Right then, so we're going to go for some... Uh, skin I'm really liking game color this is a Vallejo uh, game color extra opaque heavy black green as the base coat for all of my orc skin so I was previously using game color dark green and uh, it was it was good I like the color but it took a couple of coats to get it on and uh, and this even with a little thinning is uh, is a great base color for orc skin so i've done all of my iron jaws uh, for aos this way and uh, and this guy is getting the same so we're going to go heavy black green and then we're going to go with uh, hunter green from green stuff world and flubber green from green stuff world as a highlight. Gotta love a bit of flubber green. Yeah, do like a bit of flubber green. Just while we give those wolves a chance to dry, we'll get the skin on here. Hey Moxie! Good evening, Hello. sir. How are you today? Awesome. 
Yeah. You're awesome, are you? Yeah, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> I was talking to Moxie, but how, how are you? I'm all right, yeah. yeah good. You're doing okay? You came home with uh, two presents for the dog, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, he has... Oh. Oh. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> yeah, that little guy, that little... That little guy there, that slightly pinky purpley colour. <laughs> <laughs> was that for, for Moxie? Was that cheer? You were. Gizmo has outgrown his puppy basket because he is so huge now. And uh, you have brought in a new bed, which he is currently snuggled up. It's one of those big squares rather than a basket basket. So uh, he likes it, obviously. Just because, for. Uh, he's asleep. Yeah, just for one for in here and one for in the living room. Yeah, so he's got his proper big cosy bed in his in his bed where he sleeps, uh, but he stays in here with me during the daytime and while we're streaming. And uh, that's what he is. Oh, the cheer cheer was for Gizmo. Yeah. I was snoring currently, but I'll tell him when he wakes up. Mm. Yeah, I uh, I got them from the chap on the market that sells like the duvets yeah, and the bedding and stuff. Right outside the shop. In fact, I've supported the market in multiple ways today because I had a, uh, I had a bacon and cheese swirl from the butcher. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at you doing your bit for the community. I know. It's uh, got to look after the uh, high street, definitely. Right then, so, heavy black green, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna move over onto the wolves. And I'm gonna consciously uh, force myself to not use washes on either of these minis, because waiting for those to dry takes too long. And, uh, and then I always end up getting distracted by whatever I've painted up picked up to paint while I'm waiting for my wash to dry and then we don't get to see finished stuff on stream so that's what we're gonna do no washes this evening just straight up straight up painting Mrs MLG is currently painting <laughs> Thought she was going to tell us what she was painting then. No, I'm messing about with this paint lid because it's covered in paint. Uh, Moxis has been trying to resub since yesterday. Kept getting an error. Uh, really? to report to Twitch. Oh, well, we, we do appreciate you persevering. Uh, Twitch has had lots of uh, issues lately. Like our, our tip jar's not working, which is, uh, which is a bit rubbish because then we didn't get to see Pete's thing plopping. And, uh, and the chat bar wasn't working yesterday, but is today. So yeah, I think Twitch is having a few, a few issues. But uh, so far we're still streaming. The other week it just it just kicked us. We were, kicked us out. Didn't we? we didn't even know we weren't live anymore. We're still babbling on. Yeah, we're still. It turned still. out we just, it just kicked us out and said we were offline. Still chatting away, chatting away. Yeah, still waffling on about nothing like normal. Uh, I don't know what is this thing called. That is a Dracolisk. Yeah, one of them. One of them. I've done an extremely quick paint job on this guy because I'm not feeling it at all. Mm. I don't, I can't, he's had so many different colours on him because Little Miss painted him first. And, uh, and then I painted him and didn't like him. And now he's got some more and it's just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a bit rubbish. It's just a bit meh. It's just a bit meh. But he is going to be for my winged fury uh, for the RCL, so I need some more is, is, is that a week? Uh, is that, that a monthly, monthly or a quarterly? Monthly. Oh, I, might, I might see if I can get something in for winged fury. No, I think you should like, just concentrate on what you've got. Yeah, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the, do the things I've committed to already first. And then. you've got your... <laughs> and, then, and then we'll see What's where that we for, go. Pete? What are we cheering for? Thank you very much. Uh, what, what are we cheering for now? That this that this mini's had seventy five thousand different paint jobs on. It's definitely had its money's worth. It's definitely uh, it's definitely worth what we paid for it. 
with its 25 million paint jobs. You need to get your um, great NLG brush off miniature done. And He's nearly finished. Your, and you need to get your um, RCL duo and trios done. Yeah, well, I'm doing them now. Yes, I am. This is, this is, this is my duo and this is my trio. I always try and do my duos and trios first and then my commitments are out of the way and I don't, I don't you know, upset anybody or forget. And then... Um, Lord of the Rings for the large group challenge. Yeah, they're they're nearly done as well. Everything's I love that. Everything is nearly done, just not quite. Yeah, well, well I've got like three months, two oh. months to do them. See, look how kind Pete is. Pete thought he'd cheer for everyone that's here. Like he's so kind of you, Pete. Thank you. Thank you very much for cheering. Thank you very much for just being here. You imagine how rubbish it would be if we weren't here and we'll just be talking to myself. <laughs> It'd just be like my normal day. That's what I do all day. At least, at least I know you're there, Pete. At least I know you're there. <laughs> and everybody else. Yeah. So, so hang on. Where, where are we? Right. So, so this is my MLG brush off mini. He's, he's, he's very nearly finished. I just need to force myself to. He's from Suicide Squad, isn't he? Yeah. He's the uh, Ben Affleck Batman from the Suicide Squad. So I just need to. I need to paint his lips, and he, <laughs> which seems a bit random, but I just need to put a little bit of colour on his lips. <laughs> He's got big lips. Yeah, and then I need to highlight his cape, so very subtly highlight his cape, and then do his base, and he is done. So he's uh, he's nearly there, and then I've got my um, orcs that I'm doing for the Lord of the Rings thing. So I've actually got five orcs, but I'm only really going to submit this guy. Uh, so they're, again, almost done. Final little highlights and base done. Ready? He's, uh, he's there. What else have I got? Duo and trio. And then I need to do some in for Goblin Inspiration. I am. I'm going to get Catwoman out. But Winged Fury. I don't know if I've got a... Uh, I would like to maybe paint a dragon. I, I want to paint the Chavron of the Slayer. Yeah, but surely you want to do that for large model. Oh, yeah. And then you also give yourself a bit more oh, time. I, I know what mini I'm going to paint for Winged Fury. I know exactly what mini I'm going to paint for Winged Fury. Are you going to tell oh, us? Uh, yeah, there's a, a devil thing out of the Chronoscope expansion that I really like. Um, so I'm going to paint that. I'm going to uh, just, just, so this is Green Stuff World Leather Brown, and I've just blobbed a bit onto the lid. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that uh, a little bit with that shield brown as well, just to get, because it's nice in it to see like what colour you're actually using on the thing when they're in there. That looks very yellow, yellow, yellow brown. brown. Yeah, yeah, their leather brown is, is quite yellowy. I would describe it as an ochre. Yes. Uh, like our long yeah, yeah. A pink hippo. A pink hippo. What, me or me or Mrs? A pink hippo. Why? I painted a hippo before. Never mind. It wasn't pink. It was just hippo. Hippo coloured. Someone's bought the hippo. I'm still here. I know, but that's um, that's because we're we're still waiting for something else to be posted with it. There's my hipper. He's got a bit of pink so on he's, Yeah, he's, uh, he's got some pink. I really like this. It's cool. The uh, the person that's bought it, it's got like a really awesome mini. Looks uh, absolutely fantastic. Right, where are we? Goblin Wolf. And then, so we've got a bit of leather brown, and then I'm going to finish up with a little bit of like bony colour, just as a highlight across the top area of its fur. And then we're going to do its face, and then uh, and then that guy's almost done. And then we're going to do the other one grey. So because because uh, they've got quite expressive faces, these guys. That's going to blend in with the 
leather brown and give us just the colour that we want. <laughs> what have you done? That's just uh, right there, a bit lighter on the haunches and on there. And then, and then up across the top of his mane. And uh, we'll just give it on its face. His face looks a bit like a gremlin. There we go. Right. So and then we're gonna, I'm going to paint his teeth in. So I'm going to actually use this. Uh, Ball GM says. Painting Goblin Squire's Goblin Inspiration model. I thought it was a cat folk, but now I can see his hands. It is not. It's a Rakshasa. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I've forgotten about those. Oh! Instead of doing the Catwoman, maybe I could do one of the Cats of Crump Town. Oh, yeah, because you really want to paint those. Yeah. 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 I, I had the same uh, issue. Well, a similar issue, Bold GM. Um, I painted, I painted my miniature for Goblin Inspiration, and I asked Mr. MLG what it was but I kind of it's my own fault I kind of waved it at him rather than asking properly and he told me it was a Hellcat so I painted it all up and then when I went to find the description realised it's a Hellhound so it's not a cat at all <laughs> so I've had to submit it saying that uh, it's the Hellhound that chases the cats of hell <laughs> to, to keep my link well there's a Hellhound and a Hellcat I know but it was the Hell I know that's what I mean I, I kind of waved I didn't, I didn't show you properly um, I waved it at It was my own, completely my own fault. Okay. Um, yes, so the one I did was the hell hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> uh, whoopsie. Yes, I think you should paint Cats of Crumpton because you really wanted to paint that Northumbrian Intelligent model. So I think that that would be the perfect opportunity and, if I would be so bold as to say so, exactly what Goblin Inspiration is about giving you inspiration to paint something like, oh yeah, I really want to do that, that'd be cool. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. So, uh, next time I'm going to use some Green Stuff World Slate Grey. This is going to be the base uh, brushing over for the other wolf. So we're going over the top of the brown again, but that isn't too much of an issue. We're going to put this on fairly heavy. Uh, across the top of the model so it's still retain the brown underneath in the recesses got a question yes, yes my darling yes i know it'll look different in real life but on camera that just looks like you've decided you don't like the brown and you're painting it gray why, why are you painting gray over the top because i want does it the not look because on the camera, it just looks like you're painting it grey. Yes. Well, I'm assuming it doesn't really look like that in real life. No. No, it's it's got like a it's got like a brown undertone to it. In in real life. But I've laid it on fairly heavy because I I do want it to look like it's shaded, really, with the brown underneath. I didn't just want it to look black. I want it to look like a, a dark brown because then I'm going to get lighter and lighter with the greys now. Oh, I knew they would. I knew there would be a plan. I knew there would be a reason. I just. And then, and then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush this base while I've got while I've got stone grey and weathered stone, which is what I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to do this base because I've been meaning to get that sorted for ages because they're the colours that I normally use. Uh. Wow, that is super jammed. What the hell? Yeah, it's all right. I, uh, I take the thing out. And uh, we'll just pokey that through. Woof. Yeah, don't forget, everybody, if you squeeze your paint and it's not coming out, stop squeezing. There'll be a blockage. And if you carry on squeezing, it'll go everywhere. So nice. use a pokey tool. And if that's not working on the dropper bottles, you can actually take... The lids off very carefully and perform a little surgery yeah, to get this, the blockage out. This one's super serious, actually. Here we go. Let's move move some minis out of the way and move that pot oh, of paint yeah. out. Here we go. We're ready for the whole room becoming grey in a moment. 
Oh no, see that's not safe. Don't what? do that on screen. <laughs> what? It's it's do got not a... do this at home. <laughs> it's got a solid lump in the end of the Sweetheart. dropper. <laughs> Yeah, it's well, well jammed up, is this boy. <laughs> Sharon says, the Discord bot just now pinged the stream is live. A little late. Oh, yeah, it did, didn't it? Look, I can see it too. <laughs> yes, there's definitely something wrong with Twitch currently. But at least you're here. At least you weren't, <laughs> at least you weren't waiting for it. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you were if you were waiting for it to tell you. What is going on? It's like completely solid in the end. Ugh. Do, you want, do you want me to do it for you so that you can get on with painting something sweet? I can't get the paint out of the pot, that's the problem. Just tip, it, tip a bit in from the bottle and I'll sort your nozzle out. Yeah, well, there's like a solid lump in there. Just tip a bit out. Right. Don't know. Okay. Don't know what's going on with that. It's a brand new pot of paint. So uh, it's got like a solid deposit in the tip. Right. So this is stone grey, Reaper stone grey, and uh, I normally use this on basing stuff, but I'm going to use it on this wolf. I do like the faces on these guys, they're super cool. So I was having a real panic before because I couldn't, I knew I had some of these bases somewhere and I couldn't find them and it was driving me mad as uh, Mrs. MLG can attest to because I was turning the house over last night when I was looking for them. And uh, yes. just before we streamed this evening, just before I was, get, I'd got some GW bases which I didn't really want to use, and, but I found some out, some 60 by 35 ovals. And uh, I was getting ready to glue it on those, and then I had an epiphany about where my spare other bases could possibly be. Anyway, I managed to find them. Really happy. Got them stuck on the base sizes that I actually want. Because these... Can't actually get hold of any of these at the moment either, which is a bit frustrating, because Rubicon haven't got any. But these Rubicon oval bases designed for cavalry bases, they're 25mm by 50mm, and they, uh, they have a really nice... Oh heck, uh, have a really nice lip to the base. So when you like got a mini like this Reaper one that's got an integral base, but you possibly don't want that to be the base for your mini. You can use the lip on here and the recess to build up your basing material so that you get a nice finished base. And then also you don't have like a centimeter worth of base and basing material on top because it's nicely recessed uh, so really happy that i managed to find those and uh, when rubicon gets some more in stock we will definitely be getting them back in we've got all the i think we've got all the other sizes apart from the ovals which is a little frustrating did have a double check before i left left the shop for the day but managed to dig some out so happy with that right let's just uh, get this base done so this base is actually for uh, the bones black owl bear mrs mlg painted me the uh, owl bear yes it's up here and, I, and now i've finally finished his base just need to stick a couple of tufts on it but yeah mrs uh, mrs mlg painted this amazing owl bear for me thank you darling thank you 
this uh, this absolutely amazing owl there for me a little while ago, and uh, and now he can go on his base properly. So get a couple of tough stuff on there, and he can go yeah, on his did, base. Did half a job painting the owl, but I didn't bother doing the base. Yeah. What's going on there? There's still something stuck in it. There, there isn't. There isn't. There isn't anything still stuck in it. But when you hacked at it, you have broken a bit of the plastic. I've got the yeah. I've got the big lump out, and I've washed it out for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, that is part of the lid that you've okay. nicked with the with hacking about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. If, <laughs> if I get a new and uh, different nozzle off an old paint pot, that's what. Yeah, well, you did say earlier that one of your paints you've nearly used all up, so. Yeah, oh, yeah, the black primer. Yeah, so we'll wash the black primer one out and you can do that. But you should be able to get some out of it for now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right, so let's get. This is a little bit of weathered stone onto the, uh, onto the wolf here. So, again, just lighter colours up to the top along his tail and what have you and, uh, and on the front of those bits and then we'll have just a quick splodge down his face there we go right liking that right that's it so colours on We'll uh, let's paint his uh, paint his teeth. Another turtle teeth. made it to the water. <laughs> those those turtles. I'm so glad that they're all making it nice and safe. So we're going to use uh, tusk ivory, or ivory tusk, isn't it? The uh, the green stuff world one that I've got here on the palette. We're going to use that for his teeth. Painting onesie. If anybody had ever said to me that when I was in my forties <laughs> that I would be sat painting minis with people actually watching me while I was wearing a onesie, I would have said doing the chicken dance. <laughs> oh yeah, I would have said nah. That's uh, that's ridiculous. But here I am. <laughs> There we go. There's some. Uh, oh, and then it, it's got to have glowing red eyes, hasn't it? So let's just put a little bit of a little bit of ivory on its eyes so that we get a nice glow around the knee, going straight over that brown. Yeah. Something like that. Same with that one. So what do you think? Which one which one should I submit for my uh, duo? Grey or brown? You have to hold them up side by side and you have to have a little look, so. Okay, well, we'll put them up side by side. Get them finished up and then we'll... Well, finish, as finished as they're going to be this evening because I need to do the basing. They do look so cheeky. They, uh, they're little faces. I like it. Look at me. Oh, hang on. No warning was there. Yeah, sorry. There we go. They've got like cheeky little demony faces. I like them. Can we agree? Yeah. Can we, we do. We do indeed. Uh, they are currently out of stock until tomorrow. Because because uh, I got the ones that we had. For oh pet. yeah. 
for a painting, but then uh, but then we've got some replacements coming tomorrow. So this is a pack of two metal minis. Oh, the metal minis. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. Uh, really cool metal. Metal goblin wolves. But if you notice, so if I hold it up, you can so you can see. So its back feet are like wolf feet, and then its front paws are more like hands. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> So can you yeah, can you see how its front paws are more like uh, hands rather than where its back feet are like regular paws? It's uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know whether to I don't know whether to make a bit more out of them front feet doing a uh, doing a lighter colour a bit more. What do you reckon? For, Make them a bit more consistent colour, so they. Only if you want to draw stand. attention to them. Yeah. I think we will. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's like the uh, the Rakshasa that um, Roy's painting. So. It looks like a normal kind of cat folk, maybe casting a spell or what have you, until you realise that his hands are on back to front. What do you mean on back to front? The uh, Rakshasa's hands are on back to front. That's the same word again. Oh, okay. So they're like... <laughs> so, so do you mean that their, their fingers are attached to their wrists, or do you mean that their palms are facing outwards? Yeah, their palms are facing outwards and their fingers are the long way around. So, so like, like their, their thumbs, thumbs where, where their little finger, finger should be. Why? So, I don't know. It's like D and D monster. I don't know, like, that's a very <laughs> tiny detail, isn't it? Especially on a miniature. Yeah. Maybe in a, in, in a book or whatever, but it, on a miniature, that's a very small detail to try and put in. Oh yeah, they're uh, and and they're uh, quite powerful monsters. Hmm. Let's do uh, do this one grey. So we've definitely got two distinct beasties. So what we've we got coming up this week? So tomorrow night, some of the uh, chaps. I I'm going to a a, a meeting tomorrow night for uh, business. Um, but some of the guys are playing Blood Bowl in the shop tomorrow night. So if anybody's local and fancies getting uh, getting a game of Blood Bowl in, Throwdown Thursday starts at 7 p.m. I believe. That is correct. That's on tomorrow night. And then uh, also on Friday night we have the pre-release of the new um, the new Magic the Gathering set, Neon Dynasty, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, which, uh, which looks really cool. That comes out on Friday. Well, Jim says the right hand is left, and the left hand is on the right arm. It's a demon or devil that looks like a humanoid tiger, only with its hands switched. That is so bizarre. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That their hands are on. Their hands are on the wrong way around. Wikipedia yeah. says right. So I can't decide what colour I'm doing this periton. I think I'm leaning towards orangey brown, but I have no nice oranges. I shall be in the shop tomorrow. <laughs> so come on, recommendations for oranges, everybody, as well as you over there. Sharon says, I have to go. Thank you for the stream. Bye. It's Bye. awesome to see you, Sharon. Thank you very, very much for popping along. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oranges. Yeah, so... Um, 
burning orange is uh, is good. Oh, I didn't know whether you were looking at our website and that you were going to uh, find a link to burning orange. Well, no, because what you do, I'll just come into the shop yeah, and right. pick up the bottle. Okay, okay. Uh, burning orange is is particularly good, and um, oh, there's a green stuff world orange that's pretty good. What's it called? I can't remember its name. There's a green stuff world orange we could do. I just can't remember what it's called. Uh, but in a minute. I will. Uh, I'll show you my periton if you like. That I painted a little while ago. <laughs> Pete says, I can't go to the shop. I can't afford another kidney. <laughs> we don't take kidneys in pain. No. Right then. Just get these straps done on the back of his legs. There we go. There we go. Like that. So the green, uh, the green stuff. Well, orange. Is it faded orange, ember orange, flaming orange? Ember orange and flaming orange. Ember orange and flaming orange. I would say that they are very similar to my uh, fireball orange and burning orange from Reaper. What about go mango? <laughs> <laughs> we, we know somebody who's called mango, so that's yeah, 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 that's that's go more yellow. Mango. Ricky D says, oh, I've just found some fire orange. Well, that's the only one I have. I need more shades of orange. Yep. Yeah. I, I have two that I use on a regular basis, which are uh, which are burn, burning your, orange and fire orange. What's on your palette? Because we can see an orange from so, here. So that's burning orange that I've got there, uh, which is really nice. And is actually like a lot readier then you can see on the thing if I lift it up. Yeah, that was, that's just winding out. Oh, no, it's too, the light's too bright. Have you got anything that it's painted with it? Yeah. Just so it gives ideas. So that's that's one coat over black. So two coats gives a, a really nice... These are, these are a bit rough because I was just whacking some paint on them before we started streaming. But that's uh, one coat of burning orange over a black undercoat. Two coats gives it a really nice solid coverage. Definitely, uh, definitely recommend that. I did say that I was going to show everybody my periton, but it's in the top of the cabinet. Where did you get your periton? You could get it for me, that would be really nice. Good job, I've brought you a whole packet. <laughs> uh, it's. Oh, it Maybe in on the top shelf. It's like a, a bird. Thing, jumping off a rock, it's on the bottom shelf in the middle behind the uh, joint of the doors. I said it was on the top shelf, it's actually on the bottom shelf. It's in here at least. I mean, yeah. it's Rubbish. There you go. Cool. Yeah, here is uh, here's one I painted earlier. My periton, it's very bright, quite shiny. Um, it's supposed to be like a, a Aberration, isn't it? A periton, like a, a, oh, a demony thing. So I looked up some artwork uh, and found like one where it was really, really colourful, uh, like this, and decided that I was going to paint mine based on that. So that's uh, that's what it got. So it's got glossy black horns, and then this kind of uh, 
I don't know how to describe it. This really colourful uh, set of wings and uh, like a bony face and yeah. I really enjoyed painting that actually. I remember doing that for the, uh, that, I think it was a duo with Hamish. Mm, I think so. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I see Moxie's, big news, Mo Moxie's, big news. Big news. Moxie's <laughs> turning 50 next Tuesday. I'll have to play your birthday song to remind us. Yeah. To play it now in anticipation. No, wait, early. wait till next week. Wait till remind, next week. Might, you might not be watching the stream. Well, we'll play it for him in his absence. <laughs> <laughs> and, then it, and then if he watches back on the view on demand thing, he's, uh, he's got the benefit. Right. Did say that I wasn't going to use any washes, so... Can't, can't, well, uh, yeah, because waiting for them, but, uh, but then we're nearly finished, aren't we? So, we're nearly finished. So I can put washes on off stream. So what I'm going to do is use my Vallejo Steel. I don't think I did that on this guy, but uh, I'm going to use the Model Air Steel, and then I'm going to use the Steel Wash over the top to get the um, metal colour on for the, for the arm on this chap. Thanks, Moxie. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed painting that. Uh, Periton. Right then, so, Orc Stalker. He's, uh, he's going to be a great addition to our little army of Orcs for D&D. So Vallejo Model Air Metallics are really, really nice. They go on so smooth because they were designed to go through an airbrush. But as you can see here, the coverage is absolutely awesome. I would heartily recommend anybody, if you're thinking about picking up some metallic paints, have a look, especially if you want a really bright silver, pick up some of these different ones. There's a chrome... This is steel, but there's chrome, aluminium, uh, there's a silver, just a, a plain old, a plain old silver. They're, uh, they're really cool. And, uh, and then the other thing that I can really recommend are Dark Star paints. They make some really nice metallics as well, which uh, can actually be polished if you wish, apparently. Never tried it, but pretty cool. What did you say, Gorgeous? And of course we stock them. And of course we stock them. That's true. Yeah, and if you can't, if you come in the shop and you can't find them, just ask because they uh, we had to um, create our own wrecking labelling for them, so they're not quite as easy to find as the others. But we're working on that. I was thinking earlier, I need to put those, uh, need to put that telly up now. I'm going to put that telly up on the shop floor so we could have some rotating messages and stuff. I need to do that at some point. Is your, your rotating, rotating message just go, go, buy stuff, buy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be like, what's... The electricity bill's got up, buy stuff, you know? Mm. Not, not like that? No. Oh, you mean like special offers and... Yeah, Find special yourself. offers oh, and well, that makes that those kind of things. Special offers and what events are coming up for Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh. We've had lots of people asking us about Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and things. We, we are. We're going to schedule some Yu-Gi-Oh events. And we need to be thinking in the summer about scheduling uh, meet and greets with Pikachu and Dragon. But we're going to look mm. at getting the uh, stormtroopers down and stuff as well, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we've, we've been, been waiting for... Well, uh, yeah, I know. Things. I know that there has been reasons why we can't do yeah. stuff. But uh, I think that everything's supposedly going back to some sort of normality, isn't it? So yes. Without yeah. getting into the political nonsense of it all. 
Yeah, yeah that's right. right. That's right. Oh, the dog's dreaming, making <laughs> making cute little noises down there. I don't know if you can hear him. Yeah, I don't know what's. I uh, wonder what he's dreaming about. Chasing, uh, chasing cats, maybe. I don't know. He's never chased. He's never chased a cat. He's chasing his ball today. Yeah, maybe that's it then. He found a stick to chew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope it wasn't little Mrs. Pokey stick. No, that's, it. that's in her bedroom. That stick, which should be outside, is in her bedroom. Yeah, delightful. <laughs> yes, I've seen that today and thought, hmm, mm. why is there a stick in her bedroom? Oh, yes. Did it come all the way from Sandria? Is that? Yes. It's the stick from the Queen's Garden. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She went, went away for a couple of days with Grandma and Grandad and came back with a stick. <laughs> but it's a very good stick. I mean, it's been a, it's been a bow and arrow. It's been a fishing pearl. It's been a see how hard you can hit mummy stick. I mean, it's, you know, it comes in for lots of uses. She's just a massive meanie, isn't she? No, no, it was it was funny in the garden the other day though when she was uh, using using it as a a, a lance and uh, and, she, and then she decided to use it as like a spear. So she was throwing pretend throwing because she didn't want to walk and pick it back up. Pretend throwing it at me and going, "Oh, you've only got eighty HP left now. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. you've only got seventy HP left now, Mum." She was she was doing that when she was using it as a bow against me the other day. Posture check. Moxie says it's got to go. Great team as always. Take care and see you next time. Thank you very much. For Thanks, Moxie. Greatly appreciated. Love seeing you. Oh, not seeing you. Seeing, seeing words from you appear on the screen. <laughs> hey, Sparky. Cheers. How, Hi, Sparky. How are you feeling? Is it is it worse at night time or are you you feeling good? How's, how's it going? What's going on? I uh, I'm glad you're still keeping up your hobby streak. You're doing, you're doing well with that. That's very good. Worse on a night. Oh, there's a... Uh, Sparky's in a COVID house. But, and unfortunately, uh, it's reached him. Uh, uh, but, but he is still doing uh, doing the hobby in, still hobby streak. You can find him on uh, awesome. TikTok, uh, where it daily updates on to what hobby streak he's got up to for that day. I can't remember what, what, what day number are we on now. Can't be bothered to paint, so going to clean and build. Still counts. Still counts. Still counts. It, it does. I need to do some building. Mm. What do you need to build? I need to build. Uh, and I, and I actually do, not just like I want to. This is, I actually do need to build some stuff. So I need to build three uh, Gorgrunters for my Age of Sigmar Force before I can play my next game. Ah, what are you missing at? I'm painting my duo and trio figures. So. <laughs> do, do they need to be um, painted before you're allowed to play or because it's in our shop as long as everybody agrees it's all right yeah what, what, yeah. what rules have you decided on between you all well a lot of people have been who might struggle some people really struggle to get their stuff painted uh, but um we've allowed people to paint play with unpainted stuff however i want to personally set myself the challenge of only playing with painted models which i've managed so far so I'm going to have to get them built and painted before I can use them. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Sparky says, today will be day 37. That's cool. Wowzers. Uh, it says, a lot of the minis I have lying around. I'm not liking, though. Oh, I, I have that issue. You have like a million miniatures, don't you? I, I have a lot of things on the go at any one time. Yeah, whereas I like to do one thing at once. And currently, last year I did the 365. And yeah, it kind of forced me to paint something. And this year I'm not doing it. And I've found myself going like, yeah, can't be bothered then. <laughs> I always try and paint while we're streaming. Uh, because I'm sitting here anyway, aren't I? Yeah. And if I wasn't painting, then I'd be like working and that'd be rubbish. So, so uh, 
Thanks, yeah. Muse's touch. See you later. Safe journey home from work. Yeah, see you on the discards. We will, we will. It Can must be it must be time. It must up. be nine o'clock. Uh, it is nine o'clock. It is uh, it is nine o'clock. We yeah. Uh, we are we are there. Right. Let's give uh, give this guy some teeth. going on? Oh, no. uh, the Vortex Mixer doesn't want to stop. So, in an effort to paint this guy's eyeballs, I've ended up painting half his face. So, his eyes are so tiny. Thank you, gorgeous. Oh, so <laughs> his, his eyes are so small. So, we're going to... Uh, so, we're going to... <laughs> My vortex mixer won't turn up. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's just gonna have to do without eyes. They're so small. We might come back to those later. I've turned it off now. It might just start back up on its own again for no reason. <laughs> it is a little bit creepy like that. <laughs> uh, WikiD says. So I spent the last fifty minutes staring at three minis that I now have no inspiration to paint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sparky was like getting the baby to bed. Yes, um, our little one kept shouting. Uh, and when I went in just before the stream, apparently she was only shouting to tell us that it was nearly stream time. So that was that was nice of her, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Pete says that Wicked D should just paint pink and that you should paint left-handed eyes. Yeah. And Sparky no. says that he I hates eyes. I, I hate eyes. Sometimes, though, when it's a certain size miniature... Not painting them, nobody nobody notices yeah, on the no, tabletop, do they? No one's going to notice this guy hasn't got any eyes. No, you don't. Don't tell everyone, and then no one will. When I, uh, when I put the ink wash over the top of it and it re shades the recesses of his eye sockets, then that'll be fine. I've started... Um, I've started telling these new bases that we've started painting, this new base that, that we've got in. All right, cool. But um, because the miniature I'm putting on it has already got a base, hasn't it? Like a built-in base. Mm -hmm. You said to put some of the modern earth on so that I can like pack it round. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. So do you want to show people before I yeah. bodge it up? I mean, obviously it's um, it's not finished by any degrees, but we've got these these new these new bases in from. Legend Games, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. That I keep calling Legend because I'm silly. Uh, so skull, skull bases, but you would be able to paint all those little bits if you wanted, um, like lava maybe or broken earth or something. But I'm gonna have to cover that detail up because my mini doesn't look right just plonked on top. But there, you know. Looks really they're cool. Pretty, they're pretty cool. New resin. Uh, Raising bases and all different sizes as well. So. Yeah. More, more stuff to choose from. Those teeth are very white. <laughs> yeah, they won't finish up like that. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Yes, Sparky says, hate eyes, unless it's a beholder. Yeah, we can't really not paint the eyes on a beholder. That would look very silly, wouldn't it? I've, I've got. <laughs> Pete says, we all know it's got no eyes now. Yeah. He didn't like that. Yeah. I've got a half painted beholder somewhere. I need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've started painting it ages ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, I can yeah. see him. I've done lots of things with eyes. Look, I've got a cyclops, a beholder. That brain thing's got a massive eyes, that brain with tentacles. Yeah. Then I've got the beholder pumpkin guy. He's got hundreds of eyes. The In overgared. fact, if I look up at the cupboard, there's just eyes staring at me. <laughs> it's quite. Uh, Quite See you later, Red Snail. I think we're gonna have to go, aren't we? Bye, I think, I think, um, Bodgy, and thank you very much. Yeah, See I think we're, I think we're we're gonna call it a night. Hey, Azriel. Awesome bases. Stop showing us cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, they were pretty, they are pretty cool. But I, I'm going to have to cover that detail up, you see. So I wanted to show you before I did that. So are you going to say goodnight? All right. And um, tell everybody, what, is it sun? Are we here Sunday? Are we not here I, Sunday? I believe that we are here Sunday. So, so short, are, short yeah. of any kind of disaster, uh, we're here Sunday. So we're going to be playing Elder Scrolls Online for, uh, for the first time. So we're still at the point of... Uh, We've just generated the character and we're doing whatever the first thing is. So that's what we will be doing on Sunday, all being well. And then Monday, and that will be 4pm on Sunday. And then on Monday night, we'll be back to more Crusher Monday. Uh, and I will have the beast ready for the next stage on, uh, on Monday night. So you won't just have to watch me painting the entire thing pink again. So thank you everybody for joining us, see you all soon, and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye! Bye.